to the underside, the yellow card, that is Nick Eggleston, and James Silverfox, you see that white card peeking to the inside there to make it four wide. Now what happened here? Did the 27 move up? 27's coming up the racetrack, up the racetrack. Sir Dar's moving low. Did they just sandwich John Worry? I think they did. I think they sandwiched him. And then they all go down the racetrack. And then it's not over. Sir Dar, I think, saved it, but hit the wall. There goes John Worry into a spin. Eggleston comes up, collects Mike Newman. There's Moore's head involved. Oh, man, that's a hard, hard lick. Oh! Wow, airborne was James Silverfox. He's actually on top of TJ Moore's head there. You see Nick Eggleston, Wyatt Johnston. And what happens further up here? Somebody, might have been Robert Ban and... Robert Ban and I can't make out who that other race car is. Oh, it looks like maybe Kenny McCurry and he got together, but Vincent Marsh, Noel Stiller... Doug Shear sideways there, Joseph Bryant, Eric Neon, I can see back there, there's Chad Skinner, Let, let's look and see what happened in the second incident there. Alright, so here's the spin up ahead with those four race cars, now here's what happens for the second incident, Robert Ban gets turned by somebody. Oh, he makes contact there with Noah Cars, and that sends him up the racetrack into Kenny McCrory. And Sean Galligan, Noel Stiller, they get together, come up the racetrack. That clips Doug Shears and Joseph Bryant. Oh, wow, Bryant took a hard lick. So did Eric Neon, Chad Skinner, Vincent Marsh there. One car that I believe made it through the whole thing was Anthony Nodder. Let's ride on board with him. Just pick a line and hope it works. I think that's what Nodder was able to do. Let's see. Wow, he just missed that. Great job by Nodder getting through. Now let's see what Mark George saw. Well, he just barely got through that as well, as did the car ahead of him, Philip Stiller. So a lot of race cars taken out in that wreck, which actually was two, three different wrecks. John Worry, our pole sitter was out, Nick Eggleston. Pretty much, I'm going to go through the field here, and if you're not listed, you were taken out in that wreck. Noah Cars is our leader. In second place is Paola Gonzalez. Third is Philip Stiller. Fourth is Mark George. Fifth is Anthony Nodder. Sixth, well actually not sixth. This is uh, Martin Zakala two laps down in 12th right now. He's picked up a lot of spots due to that wreck. In the sixth position is Doug Shears. Seventh is Sean Galligan. Eighth is Kurt Sudar. Chad Skinner is still on the racetrack in ninth. And Vincent Marsh is 10th. That's it. Just 10, actually 11 race cars on the racetrack. 10 on the lead lap. We started the race with 22 race cars, and now half of that field is completely wiped out. As we are on lap number 17, going to complete lap number 18 of 26. Going to be 10 race cars, it looks like, to decide this race. Green flag back in the air. Noah Cars has not won a race yet this season, but he is out front here today in the all-star race well maybe not for long here comes paola gonzalez to the inside if paola gonzalez could win it would be the first race won this season by a female but i've been very impressed with that four car of philip stiller who's coming along now he has had a lot of horsepower underneath that toyota and he's going to show it off here. He's going to go to the inside of Paola Gonzalez. Anthony Nodder giving the drafting help along with Mark George. Paola Gonzalez going to lose the lead, going to lose second, going to lose third, all in two turns. And I've been watching. I don't think there are any teammates that can hook up with each other, with the exception of Anthony Nodder, Kurt Sadar from Stuart Haas Racing, and Philip Stiller and Doug Shears from Red Bull Racing. 
but Nodder is right up on the back bumper now of the four car. And Zakala, well, you have to give a call out to Martin Zakala. He returned to the racetrack. He's only, he's still two laps down, but Zakala's running in the 11th position. That's pretty impressive. As Anthony Nodder takes the lead, Paolo Gonzalez there in second. Did you see Mark George there? I don't know if you saw it, but that 42 car running in the fourth position just really went loose off of turn four again. I've been seeing that all race long. His race car does not look very stable. Nodder has the lead. Stiller coming back for it. So far, it's been a three-way swap of the lead between Philip Stiller, Anthony Nodder, and Paola Gonzalez. But I'm starting to see Philip Stiller's teammate, Doug Shears, that silver Red Bull car, starting to move into the picture. Anthony Nodder running that Haas automation paint scheme as opposed to the regular U.S. Army paint scheme. We've seen him race so many times in the past. He is out front here today with that new silver and black paint scheme. That may be the key to get him into the winner's circle for this race. Paola Gonzalez now side by side with Philip Stiller. That's for the second position. Mark George now thinking about three wide as he goes down to the inside. Will it be three wide for second? Nope. Second will go to Philip Stiller. Paola Gonzalez and Mark George will now battle for third. Noah Carr is starting to move into the picture. And I just told you that I was seeing Doug Shear start to make some headway. He fell back a bit and now he's starting to make his way back up. And quite a few race cars that were at the back of this pack when we went to the restart, they have fallen back quite a ton. That would be, uh, let's see, we've got Philip Stiller there, Mark George, Noah Cars, Paolo Gonzalez, and Doug Shears. Back behind them in sevens, you got Kurt Sadar a long ways back, running all by himself is Sean Galligan in eighth. Zakala running all by himself in the eleventh position. And then there's uh, Chad Skinner and Vincent Marsh, ninth and tenth. They're running all by themselves. Philip Stiller, back to the point. Nodder loses second to Mark George. Third, looks like going to go to Paola Gonzalez. They're all lining up to the inside of the 39 Chevrolet. Boy, what a great run for Paola Gonzalez. She gets into this because Jake Berg, who was driving the 20 before his injury, got the Daytona 500 win. And she's giving that Toyota, that number 20, a great run here today. And we are um, not certain when Jake Berg will be returning, but we have heard that Joseph Bryant's fill in, uh, filling in the double zero will no longer be required after this race. When we head to the next race, it will be Mary Cole back behind the wheel of the double zero. Nodder to the inside of Philip Stiller now. Well, these three seem to be the ones that are going to decide who's going to win this race. Paola Gonzalez, Anthony Nodder, Philip Stiller. They've been up battling it out, and Noah Cars could be the spoiler to try and get his first win of this season. Now, this will not count as a points win for these drivers. However, if the driver, whoever wins this race, they automatically qualify in for next year's All-Star Race, no matter what ride they are in. Because we're going to be having a Season 2, hopefully a Season 3, of the Snickers Cup Series. And whoever wins this race, if they're in a different ride, doesn't matter. If their name is in there, then they are going, and they win this race, they're going to be in the All-Star Race. Nodder is out front. Philip Stiller slides by for second. And guess who's in third? Obviously, Paola Gonzalez. So these three have been at the top three. Well, not anymore. Oh, boy. Red Bull. Coming to town. Philip Stiller down low with Doug Shears, and I think that Mark George just scraped the wall back there. Saw sparks flying. Yeah, I think he hit the wall. <laughs> Told you his car was ill handling, and obviously it is. Slides off into the wall. Exiting turn number two. Red Bull out front. One, two. 
Boy, wouldn't that be great if Red Bull could capitalize on a 1-2 finish? Well, maybe not going to happen. Anthony Nutter takes the point back. We are on the white flag lap, by the way. Final lap. Philip Stiller leads. Nodder is in second. Nodder is going to try maybe make a move. When will he make it, though? Can Nodder make a move? Or will Philip Stiller, who's been probably the dominant car all day long, win this race? Nodder to the inside. Here comes Anthony Nodder. Down on the inside. Chevy against Toyota. Nodder's going to win out on that low line. Anthony Nodder misses the wrecks. He's going to be out front, and he's going to win the 2011 Snickers Cup Series All-Star Race. Philip Stiller will finish in second, Paola Gonzalez third, Noah Carr is fourth, Doug Shears will get fifth, and Mark George will finish in sixth. Anthony Nodder gets in on the NNSCRA owner vote and wins this race. Unbelievable. Great run for Anthony Nodder. And as I said just a few laps ago, he now is in the 2012 Snickers Cup Series All-Star Race. So that's the race. Let's take a look at how they finished. Nodder wins. Philip Stiller second. Paola Gonzalez, a great run in third. Noah Cars finishes fourth. Doug Shears in fifth. And Mark George, even with an ill-handling race car that we were obviously able to see, finishes in sixth. Kurt Sudar finishes in seventh. Sean Galligan in eighth. Chad Skinner will finish in ninth. And Vincent Marsh in tenth. Two laps down, but a great finish for the 99 of Martin Zakala in 11th. Robert Ban out of the race. He will finish in 12th. The rest of these cars also out of the race. 13th, Wyatt Johnston. 14th, Joseph Bryant. 15th, Kenny McCrary. Mike Newman, 16th. TJ Morris had 17th. Nick Eggleston in 18th. James Silverfox in 19th. Eric Neon, 20th. 21st, Noel Stiller. And John Worry in 22nd. Well, congratulations to Anthony Nodder on his win. Let's show you his winning race car now. As he takes the win here at the Coca-Cola Speedway, Nodder is our winner for the 2011 Snickers Cup Series All-Star Race. Congratulations to him as he qualifies into the 2012 All-Star Race for next season. And hope that you enjoyed today's race courtesy of the NNSCRA Sports Channel. The points races continue next week on the NNSCRA Sports Channel.